I watched another video and I watched another video and you're just like spitting fire. And I'm like fully just get, um, just get convicted in my heart. I'm like, fuck, he's right. Yeah, I need a bag, bro. Send it too quickly. I'm making his dog like I'm in a big lease. Yeah, I told him I'm hit it out of stance. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred. All right, welcome to another episode of the Married Game Podcast. We're the voice you trust when it comes to lust, and we are who you hire when she lacks desire. And we have an amazing special guest today, Brian Gapek. Brian, welcome to the show, bro. Good to be here, brother. Dude, okay. This is uh this is a special one because A, you you've come through Married Game, and here you are about a year later if not exactly a year later, Uh uh, having gone through the program. But before we talk about what went on and and, and what you learned and all that type of stuff, you and I have a history that goes really far back. Yep. To high school for sure, but I think even junior high, right? I think so, yeah. Did you go to Tuffrey? No, I went to Yorba Linda, but... It was part of that whole big let's go skate everywhere crew. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go skate everywhere. And I'm probably uh, you're willing to baseball. Yep. So, God, it must have been even earlier than that, man. So, childhood chums. And, oh, we used to bike at the lake. At the, uh, at the lake the, bed, yeah. Oh, my God. All the time. Dude, I took my daughter there the other day. And she's like, you used to come down here? I'm like, we used to come down here a lot. Yeah. So, so dude, we've have a, we grew up in the same town, same city, same schools watching and doing the same stuff and uh, a little over a year ago what happens how do you find out about married game where are you at in your life at the time and 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 give us a little background man so about a year ago i'm sitting on the couch and uh, my wife asked me hey you remember uh keith yaki i was like yeah wow what's up with keith so she sends me a link she's like maybe you gotta check that out you know, kind of a little bit snarky with yeah. it. I was like, all right. So I open it up and it's um, you talking about married game, talking about like um, take 100% ownership. This is your fault. And at first I was really just put off. I was pissed. I was like, what? I can't, what, what do you mean? What? I don't fucking need that. What? Really? Like yeah. this is bullshit. Like, <laughs> you know, so I was kind of at first I was just pissed. And then I watched another video and I watched another video. And you're just like spitting fire. And I'm like fully just get, um, just get convicted in my heart. I'm like, fuck, he's right. Wow. I'm doing that. I'm yeah. totally doing that. Was it videos? I was saying you probably are acting this way and then you're like, fuck, yes. I'm acting that way. Yes. Oh shit. And that was the, that right there was like the tip of the iceberg. That, that was the beginning of me really like, uh, like that hits hard and it's something, it's really hard. Like, at first, because in the back of your mind, you know, you're like, but it's your pride that gets in the way. Mm. And you're like, nah, that's not me. That's maybe that's that guy. Maybe it's this guy. That's not me. Yeah. And so you're finally like, shit, that's me. Wow. Damn it. You know? And you just, I just felt like a total fool. I was like, man. Isn't um, that the way us guys do it though? Like we, we, yeah. we go, nah, nah, nah. Well, wait a second. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like. It's, it's a hard pill to swallow at first because, yeah. you know, we're guys, like you say, we're guys like, nah, I got this, you know? Yeah. And I don't got this. And you're Jack Chan and Juicy, so it couldn't have been your problem. Right? That's <laughs> what I'm thinking. I'm like, you know, what's yeah. going on? What do you think? Okay, so I, I've got so many questions. Um, and, 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 and bringing you on as a guest to the podcast, first of all, you've done the work, and I've seen what your life has become over the last year. And it's so impressive, and it's so exciting, and you did the work, right? You're right. the one who had to swallow the, the yeah. jagged little pill of truth and go, I'm either going to do something with this or I'm not. Right. And, but you didn't, just, you didn't just do the work. You showed up as a real valuable part of the community and, and, and firing people up and, and getting excited. Did you hear that? Was that you? That was me. Oh, okay. Uh, Please silence all cell phones. No. Um, the, you, you showed up and you, you played all out. So you weren't one of these guys that's just like, oh, yeah, maybe just learn a pr- principle or two. You played all out. Is that how you've always been in life? Like if you're into something, you're like, I'm going to be all in? Or like where did that come from? I, it's like I have to be all in. Because hmm. if I'm not, I, I don't want to half-ass it. Ha- like... I think a lot of stuff in my life I have kind of half-assed. I think I could have played better at sports, but I just didn't really care, mm-hmm. you know? Um, 
just a lot of different things. And then certain things when I'm into it, I'm like all in, mm. like, I want to know about this. I want to know any, anything I can get from this, you know, and I'm going to like read books about it. I'm going to study it. I'm going to really just absorb it and yeah. things like that in my life. I've been really successful at. And the things I've half-assed, they just kind of go by the wayside or every now and then I'll pick it up and do it, you know, kind of yeah. like guitar. Like I could have been a better guitar player. I yeah. could play like basic, basic chords, Yeah, but I wish I would have stayed with it, but yeah. I wasn't that into it. It was kind of cool, but I'm like, eh. Yeah. It was like the, this, the desire so it's about desire, right? So you you see these videos, and then uh, so you're one of the not one of the only ones, but you know I'd say maybe ten percent, fifteen percent of guys that come into Married Game, their wives send them the the, the link, and I get a yeah. lot more wives in my DM saying, "Hey, my husband needs your shit. How do I send it to him?" I go, "Send it to him." Yeah. Just fucking send it to them. <laughs> Some of the guys that have come through and got the greatest results, their wives are just like, yo, motherfucker, you could probably watch this. Yeah. And that that's, like I said, that's that's what happened with me. Because at first, it's, I think like most guys, you're very resistant to it. Because yeah. you don't want to see yourself as you're failing at something. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to see that, you know. Yeah. But if you just don't know, then it's like, you know, what do you do? Yeah. That's an interesting thing because is that is that one of the thought processes that you went through when you had to realize you go fuck maybe I am failing at this was that one of the hard pills to actually have to swallow it it really is it really is to be able to like step back and take a look at yourself and take a look at your life and and it's like you said like if a if somebody followed you around all day with a camera mm. would you be proud of what you did that day or would you look back at it and be like wow I was a total asshole well I was a total asshole. Yeah. You know, but for lack of better words, yeah. you know, those, those, are, those are words guys understand. <laughs> yeah. I was a total, Jesse left me and I go, fuck, I was a total asshole. Shit. I don't know if you know this or not. You probably have heard me say this, but, um, I, after I realized Jesse was gone and, and probably shouldn't have come back because like I finally saw who I really was in mm -hmm. the light of day. And I told her, I go, Hey, I'm, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> like, Good for you for leaving me because honestly, why the fuck did – I was almost like proud of her once I kind of realized what a piece of shit I really was. Yeah. And um, like good on Heather. Good on Heather for saying, hey, my guy, take a look at this. Okay, so what were some of the main concepts that as you got in – because I remember you and I jumped on the phone and you're like, bro, uh, I've done this in my life. I've done X, Y, and Z. Um, but I, 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 I need help on this. That's another thing that guys have a hard time doing is asking for help, isn't it? Yeah. Especially if it's yeah. just from another dude that you grew up with. It's just a fucking idiot. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> right? Yeah. So what were some of the first like things that you're like, that I thought this way before Mary game and I think this way now? Um, I think expectations. Hmm. I shouldn't expect anything. And it's an, I think it's a big you kind of get what you give. And if you're not all in 100%, you're not going to get back 100%. Mm. And it's that simple. You have to like be all in. You have to be 100% committed. You have to want to change as a person. I'm still me. You know, I'm still a smart ass. I could still be an asshole. Mm. But I, I just frame things differently. I, I see not only the world differently, but marriage, my children, what I value, what's, what's really important, you know, what's right in front of you that is most important to you. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to step back and actually look at. Cause if you don't, and you don't know what it is and what your goal is. Yeah. Everyone wants to be the better version of themselves. But if you don't know what that goal is or what it looks like, or someone to guide you to that point, you're just going to fail. And it's like, I tell people you're just on the merry-go-round and you think you got something out of it or you think you got somewhere but all you really did was jump on a different horse on that merry-go-round mm. it's not until you step off and say and you can actually see, you could like you can and i can you could see other people and i don't think i'm better than anybody at all of course, yeah. you know but it's like but i, I, I feel bad for person. certain people yeah because it's like man they're still stuck on that merry-go-round yeah you know they're still going round and round and it's like, hey, dude, jump off because you're going to get dizzy doing the same thing over and over again. Dude, that's such a good analogy. Can I borrow that? Absolutely. Ever, ever? Yeah, yeah. We're going to call that the gap pick <laughs> merry-go-round, dude, because it's so true. And and you're right. Did you So to burrow a little deeper into that one, 
was there times where you're like, okay, shit, I know I'm kind of acting like an asshole, and then you'd kind of feel like you fixed it for a little bit, and then the same problem would go around? Is that what you mean by the merry-go-round? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because it's it ta- it's like anything. It takes practice. It's like working out. You, 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 you got to practice it. And some people say, well, fake it till you make it. I, I don't believe in that. I think you should be wholeheartedly trying your best to improve yourself. Yeah. You know, I don't think you have to fake anything. Like for me, like you say, well, don't censor yourself. I try not to censor myself, but I try to present my argument in a different way. Because mm-hmm. as you know, I came, there's a lot of guys that are down here. They're like, mur, 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 and I'm like up here. Yeah. Like, no, check this out. My delivery sucked. Yeah. Okay. Because I was very like, you're going to do this. This is how this is. That doesn't work. Right. You know, it's like you, you got to come up with like, how can I ask this person? How can I have a conversation with this person Mm -hmm. versus just throwing my views at them? And this is what I want. And this is bullshit. And I don't like this. But how many times do we stop and say, well, this is what's actually bothering me. Can we talk about it? Yeah. And I think a big thing for me was, and I'm still struggling with it. I, I'm still working on it. Yeah. And that's communication with my Same. wife. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that ever goes away. But I'm making 100% effort. I'm putting my energy into making that effort. Yeah. You know? I bet you Heather sees that too. Like I think she he's, does. He's not just, he's not just, yeah, whatever. You're like, no, no, I'm trying. I may be, I may, I, I may have blown your hair off your head with my, my tone, but I'm trying. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Dude, I have a question for you. So you, um, it's not even a question. It's more of like an acknowledgement of who you are. And uh, I feel like it's fun to hear that sometimes from people that were around. And when you came into the Mary Game Coaching Group, you, there would be times where you'd be like, I believe this. And I'd be like, I understand that, but have you thought about it this way? And you'd be like, no, I haven't, but that's a better way to think about it. Yeah. I can remember s- distinct calls not specifically what they are now, but I remember distinct calls. You're like, fuck, you're right. I need to, I need to rethink that one. Not a lot of guys can do that, but you did do that a lot. And it actually, it, it shifted how you believe things and how you showed up. Yeah. Do you remember these? I do. Yeah. I do, do. you remember what any of them were? I can't, I was, um, I wanted to remember what some, I don't remember. I think, name. I think another one was, um, a big one was expectations. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's expecting your wife to show up hundred percent all the time for right. you. Right. Yeah. But I have to remember, my wife's not in married game. She yeah. sent me to married game. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's one was expectations. One is, you know, um, get curious. Mm. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. That's a huge one when, when you're like, well, did you ask her why? I was like, mm, no. Like, maybe you should do that. I'm like, <laughs> and I think the why question and, and having a conversation really, really sets the tone to being able to communicate and, and better communication, mm. smoother communication. Yeah. Like asking why without the, the tone of like, well, why dummy more like a, well, why do you really believe that? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That, especially for hard charging guys, you're a business owner. I'm a business owner. We like to get shit done. The uh, getting shit done is like, um, it's kind of, it's kind of our drug. Yeah, I've, it really, you know what I mean? We're like, okay, we're not going to do that shit because that ruins our life, but we're going to do this stuff to make our life and we get addicted to this shit, right? Right. And it's it's not not a lot of time for chit chat, not a lot of time for like, hey, we, we're leaders, like let's fucking go. I, I notice that a lot of guys, when they come into married game and they have to hit the curious button, it causes us to almost like pause and go like, do we really have fucking time for all this curiosity shit? Or are we trying to get something done here? Did you feel that tension? I did at first, but then I found that once you do get curious, yeah, it, you, dude, it just goes so much smoother. Yeah. Once you're like, you present the question in, in, in a respectful manner Yeah. and you're getting curious and you're like, Hey, I, I don't want to be a dick or sound like I'm being a dick, but what is X, Y, and Z? What, why, why, why is this like this? Yeah. You know? And I found that it actually speeds things up. So you're not, you're not pissed for half the day. You're not holding resentment for a couple of days at your wife. Like, oh, she just fucking pissed me off. This is bullshit. You know, I don't even know how I'm going to deal with this versus just take the time and be just like, you know, sometimes you can't always do that. But for the most part, you can and just be like, hey, I, 
did I do something wrong? Did what? I don't understand. Like if I came off a certain way, this is how I'm thinking about this right now. Is that how I'm portraying it? Yeah. And a lot of times it's, well, no, you're coming off as a dick. And the bottom line is for me is don't be a dick. You know, I, I, a lot of times I have resting bitch face or I look like I'm pissed off and I'm not, yeah. that's just how I look. Yeah. And sometimes I can't help it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I try to, you know, yeah. um, I, I've gotten things where people have asked my wife, like, is he okay? Is he having a good time? He looks upset and I'm totally good. Yeah. Totally chill. Because for me, if I'm not having a good time or I don't like what I'm doing, I'm going to be like, Hey, we're out of here. Let's go. Yeah. I won't stay. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to stay in something that's lame. I'm like, oh, this is lame. Let's get out of here. Yeah. But no, if I generally want to be there, I'm just, I'm there. I'm chill. Yeah. So it, it, the whole chit chat conversation type things, um, I'm working on it with other people and my friends. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like it's just like, oh, it's superfluous bullshit. You'd rather How be you talking about deep shit, like yeah. life changing shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where you and I are cut from definitely the same cloth. It's like the weather, the weather's fucking weather. And yeah. how's your fucking life? What's, what is, where are you growing? What, what, what happened? Is your business growing? Is your life growing? Is your li- wife want you more? Like, what do your kids think? But by the way, how are your kids? Oh, they're great. I loved having them when you were doing the man cave and they came over. It was just so fun just hanging out with them and climbing the tree with them and yeah. Yeah. Do they still talk about it? Or they, they do. They, uh, they're like, what well, we want to, we want to go hang out with Keith and, and jump off the balcony into the pool. Oh hell yeah. Dude. They're, that was like the biggest thing for them. And then oh my, God, that was so fun. my, my son, um, he loves, he loves supercars. And so he got to, you know, he got to see the Lambo and all that. And he's yeah. like, dad, you should get one of these. I'm like, well, son, <laughs> here's a reality check for you. Yeah. <laughs> I got I to gotta go. Gotta I got a ways. I gotta, we got to retrofit a few more apartment buildings. Right. I love it, man. So things have definitely changed in the last year. What would you say, um, what has changed the most in your life for the last year, having gone through married game? I would say um, one. areas, say them all. Yeah. One, my relationship with my wife. It's gotten a lot better. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it ever will be perfect. I think we still have our moments. Mm-hmm. Um, we still have our little mini collisions, but I think sometimes those are needed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you know, if she's not communicating well, or I'm not communicating well, we're both guilty of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's now having the tools to be able to do that. Um, on top of that, I would say drive, uh, my drive for just life has changed because I, I have, I feel more to look forward to. I have more opportunities to, to have deep discussions with my wife. And sometimes we talk about bullshit and sometimes we have like, I think life changing discussions, which are amazing. Just the, you know, um, we've been together since high school, you know, and then off and on after high school. So over, over 20 years I've, I've been with my wife Yeah, and I don't think, um, people say, Oh, we grew apart. Well, did you, or did you guys just grow in separate directions? Mm-hmm. Did you both get off? You know, it, it, if, if you're not on the same page with this person and this person has a huge growth spurt and you're just kind of fiddling around right here, just kind of treading water, like, oh, I'm good. People don't want that. Yeah. You know, they want someone equal or higher. Yeah. Like, how can I be equal or higher value? Mm. And if you're, I don't think if, if you're not providing that, and, and I don't mean like, you have to go out and like conquer the world and, and, and be, you know, bringing in gajillions of dollars. Yeah. I think you have to be a value, valuable person mm. to your partner. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be that guy that's like, ho oh, hum. Oh, I don't know. Um, they want, they want someone that's a go getter. Yeah. They want a man. They don't want another kid. Yeah. You know, that's so true. And I think that's, that's a big one. Do we still act like little kids sometimes? Of course we do. Yeah. We're guys. We do dumb yeah. shit. Yeah. You know, but for the most part, I think we're trying to stay on track yeah. and grow on the same page. And I think my wife had a lot of growth. And like I said, I was just kind of floundering back here. Mm. And like, she knows me. She's known me for so long that she's like, no, this isn't cutting it. Yeah. You need to catch up, dude. Yeah. She's like, cause I, I, I'm going places. And I, and I, and I don't want to drag you. Yeah. I want you mm. either leading the pack or right next to me. Yeah. And right now I feel like I'm more, um, leading the pack. Yeah. You know, how does that make you feel as a man? Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Cause I remember that was one of the things that when you're coming in, you know, you were doing some, some other type of work and you were, 
you had all the skills and all the talent to create a business that would you know do awesome and you just kind of kind of lost do you feel like you kind of lost yourself in that that I, time? yeah I do. Yeah. I think, like like I said, I think I was just kind of floundering, like, well, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know about that. And, you know, it was um, when we, we came down here for um, the Married Game meetup for the Man Cave and, yeah. and all that. And that was huge. That was huge. Being around all those other guys. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what the, the, the funniest thing was? And it was, it was so simple. It was stupid, right? Mm. And you see all these guys, some of these, some of these guys – very, very, very successful. Yeah. Barely graduated high school. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Doing amazing things. And the number one question I got from almost everybody there is, so what's stopping you? Hmm. I'd be like, well, they're like, well, what's your goal? What's your plan? Oh, I want to do X, Y, Z. Okay. And? Yeah. Well, you, he's like, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, stop. Cut the shit. What is stopping you? Who's stopping you? What's physically stopping you? Well, you know, I got to do this and I got to get this classification. I got to do this. He's like, okay, what's it take to do that? Well, I just have to do this. Well, if you just have to do that, then go fucking do it. What are we, what are we talking about? Yeah. You know, when, when you see, you know, people that are successful and, and, you know, that's one of the things that I, I credit you for is putting me in a room with people like that to show me. And I feel this is what I was shown. And every, everything happens for a reason. Everybody's in a place for a reason. Yeah. And I believe that that was kind of like a gift from you to say, hey, look right here. Well, why aren't you doing that? Yeah. And I have to, I have to, I literally had to sit back and like, yeah, why am, why am I not doing that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it was, it was so simple, but it was so beautiful. It was just like, yeah. Wow. And I think that was the big, for me, um, after doing Married Game, I, I feel like that was the icing on the cake for me to just let me open your eyes to see and show you yeah. the level that you could be at if you choose to take this path. Yeah. And I, that it was so simplistic and so beautiful at the same time. Yeah, man. When all I had to do is look in the mirror and be like, hey, get your ass over there and go do this. Yeah. And nobody's stopping you. Isn't that so powerful? It's like the, the law of double exposure, exposing yourself to the reality of where you're at and being exposed to a level that's higher than you so that you can aspire to it. Yeah. And that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Just yeah. regular dudes, yeah. just like me, yeah. that said, I'm going to do this. Yeah. I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks or says. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Yeah. So I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to do, do that too. Yeah. And here you are. Now you've got your, your businesses rocking and rolling. Yep. And uh, the one you told me about here, the thing that you, you missed out on is is more money than most people make in a year, and it's just one job that you're like, hey, we didn't get it, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fucking awesome. What would you say to anybody? Because guys, guys watch this podcast all the time, and I really only, I really, I don't want to say I only care about high performing guys, but I only understand high performing guys, like right. I, guys that want to be losers like i don't know what to do with them because i don't just stop being a loser like start doing winning fucking things and right but there's guys like you that were a winner and you kind of lost your way a little bit and you needed kind of to get back on track and go okay wait i need to hear some truths and i need to be exposed to some different levels of guys that are just just like me but for some reason they didn't let anything stop them right right um so i i there's a lot of winners that are losing right now or lost that just need a little bit of this to get back on the winning path or they're winning in their business and they're winning these other areas and they're driven like crazy in this other area but then at home they kind of they kind of put their ball sack with in the fucking key drawer and they're like hey i'm back yeah what would you say to that guy if he's considering just anything coming into a married game or just making a life change what, what would you say to him all it's gonna do it is help you level up hmm. but i Let's, let's put a disclaimer on that. Okay. Be ready. Cause this shit is going to shock you. Mm. Like you literally need to be able to step back and look at yourself. You got to be able to kind of step outside of yourself, see who you are, see where you're failing, put it together and fix it. Mm. And that's what married game does. You got to put in the work. You got to, you got to jump on the calls. You got to say, Hey, 
I'm trying this. This isn't working. What, what do you see that I don't see? Because I don't have all the tools yet. Yeah. And you have to come in with an open mind because you're not going to be at this level when you get here. Right. But you're going to see a lot of guys that are. Yeah. And you can't get discouraged about that. It, you have to know that your time will come and stop doing dumb shit and, and take the advice that's being given to you. Um, follow the steps. Sure. But if you're, if, if you're still getting the same results and you're going roundy round, yeah. there's something you're missing. And yeah. that's where, like I said, my biggest advice is be able to step outside of yourself and see you for who you are mm. and then take that red pill. Yeah. It, you, you have to come in this with an open heart and humble Yeah. because the way you're doing it now doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work because you don't know. And it's like I said, you don't know what you don't know. So come in and, and take the advice and learn. Yeah. Be, be ready to learn and be able be, le- be ready to see you for who you are. Do you think, I agree with all of that. Do you think that because you grew up playing sports or because you're highly coach, you're a highly coachable individual. Jesse, you gonna do something with you? Oh, I don't know. I didn't know if you wanted me to go to the house. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. We're good. Um, I'll, I'll, that's okay. No problem. We'll call it. They, can, they can edit it out. Okay. No problem. It's okay, Tanae. I have You're my good. phone on me. Okay, cool. All right, bye, All right have an amazing day. You too. Edit that out, guys, if you could. Um, you're you're a highly coachable individual. Like you would like. Whereas somebody might, you know, you have pride in yourself and who you are. Like, look, you've built yourself up into a fucking tank. You know what I mean? You, you've built your business. You've, you've done your things. Your wife loves you. But what I noticed about you, and I think it's, it, I think it's a secret to my success, frankly, if I'm being honest, it's like, I'm just highly coachable. And that's what you're saying. When you step back, you go, oh, shit, I, I, you, this is what you guys are seeing? Ah, that's embarrassing, but fuck, it is why I'm doing what I'm doing, so I need to coach. Is that, is that, have you always been that way? I try to be, I haven't always been that way. Cause I've had like in the past supervisors and Hey, maybe you should think about doing this. I'm like, whatever, dude, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still making it. I'm, you know, but I could have done better. Mm. And I think it was a pride thing. And I think once you get to a certain point and you're like, Ooh, I have no clue what I'm doing. Mm. I think you need to assess that in yourself. Some people, you know, just might not be ready or they might still at the point like, I'm good, mm-hmm. but you're not. Yeah. How did you know, was it just the results in your life that were so glaring to you? You're like, well, fuck, maybe I'm not good. Is that what drove it for being so coachable in married game? Absolutely. Because I already, I already had figured like, shit, nothing that I'm doing is working. I'm not really motivated. Hmm. I just got in this weird, like this little rut, hmm. you know, for a couple of years. And I was just like, you know what? I don't, that's, that, that's not who I am. Yeah. You know, that's not who I want to be. And I, and I finally, like, like you said, I, I'm, I'm ready for a change, but I don't know how to change. Yeah. So I need help. Mm. And I think that's why I was so open to it. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you know who I'm realizing? I've been saying this a lot lately for, I think Jesse's the real MVP. I, I think Heather's the real MVP in this situation. Like, obviously you're the MVP for doing the work, but Heather had the balls to go, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Like she saw in you something better than you saw in yourself at that moment. Yeah. And I, I got to give a shout out to all the wives out there. Cause Jesse was, Jesse said, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? I didn't hear it. And so she goes, see you later, motherfucker. I'm out of here. Yeah. That, that's what woke me up. But dude, like kudos to Heather, man. And kudos for you to be able to like pause. I wonder if, well, here's what I'm, here's what I'm getting when, as I'm hearing you talk about how Heather really was like able to say, Hey, this is where I'm at. Mm-hmm. And then for you to be able to analyze and go, fuck, this is where I'm at. Shit. I've tried a bunch of things. It's not working. Um, I wonder if any of the guys listening to this, if they should go home. I actually think they should go home and, and ask their wife, hey, on a scale of one to ten, like, if you were to be honest with me, how am I really doing? If you, if, if you would ask Heather that when she sent you the Married Game video. What do you think she would have said? Like if she was just naked and honest, man, 
I, I think she would be like, where did you go? Hmm. What happened to this guy? Like, take a look at yourself. What, what are you doing? Hmm. You know, I, I think she would have, but at the same time, it's a guy thing. So I don't think I would have ever asked that. And I think that's a good, that's a good point. I think maybe some of these guys should go ask their wife, like, Hey, yeah. how do you think I'm doing? Because it was her revealing her truth to you that was able to kind of head you down on the trail. A couple of different things. She said, Hey, I'm going this way. Are you going to help? You're going to be with me. You're going to lead the pack. That's, I don't know if she said that exactly to you or if that was just the energy that was happening or both. I think it was more of the energy because she's, my wife's a very, very, um, she's very direct, but she's also like, I don't know how she does it, but she's like super kind. Yeah. And she's like very like revealing with people and and very like, well, you know, X, Y, and Z, but she's, her delivery is obviously a lot better than mine. Yeah. Because well, mine's like, people, like save face a little bit, right? Yeah, hmm. and I think with me it was like, because she's she's known me for so long, she's seen high drive, high standards, Brian. Yeah, and then she sees me at my worst point. Hmm. You know, where she's like, "Are you like, wh- where's this guy? Who who is, who are you? You know, like I like I've showed I've shown you the pictures where I was fat and out of shape, and I just." wasn't cutting it there. I think I had zero style at the time. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I was kind of just sloppy yeah. and it just kind of like, just kind of your standards had, had dropped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because it, the, this energy that she gave you and then sending you a video for somebody that she thought, well, maybe he'll listen to this guy cause they went to school together. Yeah. May have, I don't know. It may have been her motivation. Like well, something, some, something's got to wake Brian up. But you know how I always give you guys a new middle name in uh, Married Game I always, that is Brian motherfucking Gapik, and, and you guys right. sometimes call me Mufasa because I'm like, remember who the fuck you are. Brian, you're a savage. What the fuck happened, bro? Right. Let's go. Um, I, I wonder how many guys, if they went and asked their wife, hey, if they just kind of read, because there's a lot of guys that have your story, man. I had your story. My wife just fucking was so over it. She's like, I'm fucking out of here. Heather was a lot more patient than Jesse, right? Or maybe I wasn't as bad, or maybe I was worse off than you. But they're, they're, they know who, and you've seen all the guys come through Married Game. You know who's fucking going through there. It's the guy that's like, you're like, dude, you used to be a savage. What the fuck happened to you? Yeah. Where, where did you go? I think your story represents a lot of guys that have been through Married Game and that are going to come through Married Game. And I wonder if, uh, first of all, I think you sharing your story here on our call today, it's like, or on this episode is fucking awesome. Uh, so grateful that you would come down and do this. Um, but secondly, I think it, it serves as almost like an example for guys to go, Hey, I heard this dude on this podcast and he used to be a high standards, high drive motherfucker. And he wasn't so much and his wife kind of woke him up. Yeah. Is, is this my situation? I'm trying to think of a cue that a guy could ask his wife in such a way that his fragile ego that we all have right. can kind of go, well, shit, maybe I need to lean into this. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I, that's, yeah, that's, that's a tough one because, again, we're all guys and the whole pride thing comes in. Yeah. And it's like you just got to swallow your pride. If, if you truly want to know, if, if you really want to know where you're at, be prepared to get kicked in the nuts. Yeah. Cause you might think you're a little bit higher on the rung than mm. your, your wife does. And she might be like, you're not even on the ladder, bro. <laughs> you know, you gotta be prepared for that. Like mentally you got, you gotta be prepared. Cause like I said, we're guys with our fragile ego. Yeah. It, if you're not prepared, it's going to hit you hard, but you can get hard, you know, hit hard. But what are you going to do with that info? Yeah. Are you going to sit there and be like, oh, woe is me and be a little bitch? Yeah. Are you going to get up and be like, oh, okay, fucking hold my beer, watch this? Yeah. Do you think maybe that it's, it's okay, so it's pride because we all have that, right? Right. Do you think some of it also is, yeah, but dude, you don't know my wife. She's got her problems too, bro. Was some of that maybe in your head when you're like, hey, you know, Heather, yeah, uh, I'll look at this, but... Maybe we need to go find a girl version of this for you. Was there any of that kind of in you at first? At first, yeah. Like, who the fuck are you telling me what to do? Yeah. But then I realized that she's only responding to me. Mm-hmm. 
So if you're giving somebody a shit sandwich every day, they're not going to give you a filet mignon back. Yeah. There's no way. That's so true. So, but do you think that's some, was that some of it for you? Do you think that's gotta be, that's, I imagine that's gotta be it for guys. Cause if I looked at Jesse, I'm like, well, you're not fucking perfect either. And I, it, our, our tendency as guys is to look at our partner and want to point the finger. Right. But there's that big, butt though. Yeah. It, you got to look at you. Yeah. Like you keep saying, like, what does your side of the street look like, bro? Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's the tough one. For that's us. the, that, that is, that's the right there. Yeah. It's even tough as guys are going through the program. You know, we even say, uh, uh, you know, these mantras as well as anybody, you know, her stand or her response to not dictate my standard. And mm. we're always but like, but I've raised my standard for four weeks, coach. Like, what the fuck? And I go, well, dude, you've been a dickhead for four years. Yeah. Did, was that some of the stuff that you went through as you were going through it? Yeah. I, it's like, you know, we're, we're I, I would say most of the guys, like you said, they're hard, hard chargers, high standards, mm-hmm. kind of lost their way. And they're coming back and they're like, Hey, I'm a totally different guy. I'm doing this. Boom. I'm fucking snapping necks and cash and checks. I'm making shit happen. Right. Yeah. But then she's not coming along fast enough for you because you're that high performer. You're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, I've changed. Look at me. I've changed. Like, bro, it's barely been a month. Yeah. You got to be consistent at this. Yeah. You got to be consistent at it for a while. Yeah. You know, just, I think just starting out, that's just the, that's just like baby step, step one. Yeah. And the rest of it, what you learn, you need to keep building on that. Yeah. Well, here you are a year later. What, what has been a, a, after a year and dude, you live this, like you tell me all the time, like, bro, I'm living this shit every single day. What, what has been the biggest breakthrough in the last year towards the end of this, you know, last year, you know, as you continue to keep going, cause you're consistent as the day is long, you're doing the fucking work. I would say for me mm-hmm. is, um, yeah. staying within your power, stay in your power. Mm. You know, you control you all day long. Things are going to get under your skin. Things are going to ruffle your feathers. That happens. It's what you do with that response. Mm-hmm. And then if you're not curious and you just react to something, that other person might be like, whoa, dude, where did that come from? Well, you said X, Y, Z. That's fucked up. But I didn't mean it like that. Mm. So it's like, stay within your power. You know, what can you can control? You can control you yeah. and how you respond. Yeah. Flip that frame. Yeah. Like, cause I just used to get pissed and the people were like, whoa, dude, I don't even want to talk to you. Yeah. You're just being a dick. Yeah. You know? I think that was the number one thing for me. Um, I had to bring it down several notches where a lot of guys, dude, you need to like grab your balls and step it up. Yeah. You know? So I think there's a happy medium for both. Sure. And I think that was for me, that was the toughest part for me to find Mm. and, and, you know, not getting pissed off, not like losing my shit and be like, this is bullshit. What the hell? You know? Yeah. And not being that, that guy. Do you think when you say it was the hardest thing for you to find was, um, and I don't know if I've ever heard you say this or if you did say this, but I know guys have said this and it may have been you as well, where you're like, Hey, this is just who I am, man. I'm just a high, strong, high drive, high fucking action motherfucker to where you go. Well, yeah, but if you could be a raging fire, but if you're burning everything up along the way, nobody wants to fucking hang out with you. Is, right. It was, is that kind of what you mean? Like where you had to realize, well, fuck, even if I am this way, I still have to dial it down when I'm around my wife. Not that you're changing yourself, but you're adapting to reading the room, so to speak, I guess is the best way I might say it. Is that right. something that you went through? Yeah, definitely. Because then once I, once I was given the tools and I'm, and I'm in it and I'm living it, but I, there are still frustration points. Cause you're like, well, why don't you see this? I've totally changed. Yeah. Like, didn't you just have your call with Keith four days ago? Well, yeah, but I'm ready. Yeah. I'm changing. Yeah. You know, it, you got to be realistic. Yeah, you totally got to be realistic. They're like, "Hey, bro, I, we love the enthusiasm, but yeah, let's let's give it a little track record to see if this is real." When did you? When did it really seem to shift for your marriage? How deep into the married game were you? For you, really go fuck, or maybe even first hint of oh shit, this is working. I think, um, probably towards the end of my third month, I was really kind of diving into my power dial. Hmm. You control you, your response 
is yours. Other people's opinions is, is theirs. How you respond to what somebody tells you and being curious and staying within that is, is huge. Mm. So I would say once I kind of started to lean into that a little more and be like, okay, I gotta, I gotta check my response. Yeah. Not censor myself. Yeah. Because you don't want to censor yourself. You want to, you want to say what you need to say, but it's how you say it. Like, yeah. you know, the, the intensity, how you, even how you look at somebody when you talk to them, you yeah. don't want to be like, Oh, this is yeah. what I think you're going to do. You know, yeah. it doesn't work. It especially doesn't work with the ladies. Cause most ladies don't give a shit how tough you are. Yeah. They don't want to see that side. Yeah. Like my wife told me like, yeah, I, I know I get it. You're a tough guy. And, and what about it? Yeah. It doesn't impress me. Yeah. What are you going to arm wrestle me? Right. Yeah. You know, Ooh, you have big muscles. Yeah. But I, I want to see more than that. I want to yeah. see, I want to see the loving, caring Brian that used to be there. I want to see the high drive Brian that used to be there. You're just this mopey little bitch right now. Yeah. And then my wife doesn't talk like that, yeah, by the way. But, but it's it's yeah, basically that's how you interpret it. Yeah, that's how I would interpret it, of yeah. course. Well, that's the guy, we, us guys understand that, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, being a mopey little bitch. All right. Any 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 last words um, that you would want to just say? Anything that you learned? Anything? I mean, it's your your time to talk. Anything you want to say? You know, just just be open with it. Hmm. You got to be open. You got to be real. Maybe some people, when they come in, they haven't hit rock bottom yet. Mm. Um, I was pretty close to it. You know, a lot of things in my, my life were just failing. And just going through married game and, and, and the coaching and the coaching calls, just, it just, it just opens your eyes, takes the blinders off you. But again, be ready for that. Yeah. You know, this isn't like, you know, four days later, you're changed. You, you have to train your mind just like you train your muscles, just like you train your brain to do different jobs. You, you have to train your mind and flip the frame and be able to step back and say, yeah, I can do this and be willing to do it. Like for me, my, my, my motto now is I'm just trying to out Zen Yoda. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah. trying to be, be cool with it. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of things that would set me off and I don't want to be that guy anymore. You know, I want to be the awesome husband. I want to be the awesome dad. I want to be killing it in business. And those are all the things that I'm striving t towards yeah. all at the same time. So when you say, you know, here I am, fix me. Yeah. Be ready to get fixed. Yeah. Be ready to, to, to receive. Yeah. You know, have an open mind because remember what you're doing right now, it doesn't work. And know that um, Married Game is here for you. This is just, like I said, this is just the jumping off point right here yeah. to re-jumpstart your life. Because it, after you go through this, you, you know, and, and, you, and you're successful at it, and you're honest, and you're open, and you're just real with everybody. Remember, and, and it's like I said, you know, same shit, dis different circumstances. Yeah. Uh, everybody's struggling with the same thing. So... Swallow your pride and just lay your cards on the table and say, Hey, can you guys help me? Yeah. Because they can. Yeah. And that's, I'm here. I'm, I'm proof. I'm just a normal dude that lost his way. Yeah. You know, came to the program and I'm not perfect. Yeah. By far. I, I'm still, I work at this stuff every day. Sometimes I fail and sometimes I fuck it up. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you quit and you stop. You'd be like, Hey, I, I realized that I might've done X, Y, Z. I, there's nothing wrong with saying you're sorry. Yeah, my bad. You know, I'm sorry. I, I you know, I, I'm trying this. Is this working? Yeah. I want this for us and our family. And then go with it. Yeah. Uh, my favorite line of your wife's on the uh, on the documentary that you guys were on. Um, I left. She goes, yeah, I know he's really crude. Don't let that turn you off. He, he, he this stuff actually works. I, I loved hearing her say that because I know that a lot of people do think that sometimes. Uh -huh. And uh, I just adore her. I'm, I'm so glad she sent you the video. I'm so glad that you came through the program. I'm so glad that you're my friend. I'm so glad you wired the man cave. Um, I'm glad I got to meet your kids. And it's it feels, it feels like um, full circle to have you now here just on the podcast, just you and I. And you sharing your story here a year later. That it wasn't happy just, to do it. I love it's, it. It's just, it wasn't just something that you're like, oh, I tried that. And yeah, yeah. It was like, 
no, dude, it changed my fucking life, and I literally show up entirely differently because of it. Hundred percent. And it's fun. It's fun to have the. All right, here's a year later, because we've got you. Remember when we all got high and drunk on the on the last time we were here? Yep. That was that was fucking awesome. We're like Brian. What do you think? You're like, uh. <laughs> but and I love that because and I want to ha- I want to I want to I want to use clips from both. From here, Brian. You know what were you maybe three months into married game at that point? Uh, maybe a little yeah. longer. I think I think well no I think let's see. Is it I, I started in February. Oh shit! Then and then then you've been about like about six months in. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah. And then so we but we're we're do we're a year and a half later then. We're a year yeah. and a half. Fuck, even cooler. Wow, man. Well, I'm fucking proud of shit of you, dude. I, I love the work that you put in. I love the energy that you brought to the group. I love that you you're you're an all you're 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 like I'm all in and I'm either gonna do this or I'm not and right. it's gonna be on fucking me. And that is the spirit that, that I believe in that causes people to become awesome and great. And so I just know that your future is as bright as you want it to be because you've got all the skill sets, all the drive, all the work ethic. And now, um, specifically for your marriage, like the real tools to go this is how it actually works. So yeah, good on you, man. And thanks for showing up. Thank you, brother. Well, there you have it. You got to hear from Brian Gaffick 18 months after going through married game. I thought it was a year, but it's actually a lot longer. Still cranking, still doing the dials, still doing the damn thing and growing. So if, if you are hearing this or you're watching this and you go, fuck, <laughs> I am a lot like Brian, or I'm a lot like you, Keith, and you heard it from somebody. We don't pay him. Did we pay you to do this? No. No, we did not pay you to do this. In fact, you, you, we asked you, and you were happy to come do this. Absolutely. And, um, you know, listen, maybe some of the things he said resonate with you, that maybe it's your pride. Maybe you're too afraid to admit you need help. Maybe, uh, maybe you're not seeing things clearly, and you need to step back, and maybe ask your wife, hey, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, like, be real with me. Like, how am I really fucking doing as I always been? Do you really fulfilled? Do you feel loved? Do you feel seen? Am I that winner that has uh, kind of been, you know, sidetracked and maybe just circle around the cul-de-sac a little bit and you want to get back on? Um, then, you know, married game is for you because, as Brian says, uh, we're going to hold you accountable and we're going to help you become your best version of you by holding you to your word and doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it without fault. So... If you love this, uh, share the show. If you are this guy, go to marriedgame.com or hit me in my DMs on social media and uh, let us know that you need help and we will gladly step in and fight the good fight with you so that you can get what you want. And as always, keep crushing it. That shit's contagious.